sassy. Yeah, I feel real sassy today. Sassy today. I noticed. Ready? To show the world our problem? I feel like it was the spaghetti. I feel like I didn't want that. And I had it and now I'm like, ugh, I don't want that. Why didn't you want it? I don't know. I just feel like I didn't want that and now I'm like, I don't want that to eat. I had a now. chocolate bar and that made me now feel I'm great. Annoyed. Hello everyone and welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games. And board gamey things. And our shopping addiction. And our addiction to spending money. Excuse, Excuse you. Me. We are here today to do another episode of board games and Brew. Tea. I'm out of breath. Really? Yeah. You went down the stairs. Down from the spaghetti. We're here to do another episode of Board Games and Brew, a weekly series where we drink hot beverages. Today we're having some tea. Mine is orange pico and Jeff's is Earl Grey. Yeah, I'm an Earl Grey guy now. He's an Earl Grey guy. And we talk about board gamey things. And today's board gamey thing is a board game haul. We did one of these last month. I believe we did one the month before. Are you sure some of these weren't on last month? I checked the video. Last Dang. month was King Domino, uh, Space Base. Really? Call to Adventure. Space Base, no. We got that like three months ago. Well, you know, these are just examples. So we are just going to jump right into it and show you some of the games that we have recently acquired in the past month. Shame, shame. I you know your name. First or do you yeah, you go first. first. All right, first up, this is going to be three separate games, and that is the remainder of the Silver Series from Bezier Games. So ah, we have Silver, silver Amulet, Silver Coin, and Silver Dagger. Are yeah. they upside down? Nope. Nope. We good? These were sent to us by Bezier Games, so thank you so much for that. We will have a upcoming video ranking all of these and discussing all of these, including Bullet and talking about which ones are our favorite and also the grand reveal of our ultimate silver deck. Yes. Two player silver deck. We've already talked about these a little bit. We yeah. just haven't shown them in the hall yet. Yeah, yeah, fair. Because I was thinking like, I feel like we've already talked about these, but... They're designed by Ted Auspach. Right, right. Sorry. Yes. Ted Auspach. Is that an H or an N? It's an... H, I think. But it's the font capitals. is a bit odd. That's a D. Maybe it's T O. Is it Teo? Teo out. I gotta look on BGG. Mm, BGG. Silver Yeah, sorry, font's a bit funky. Okay. Ted Games. Card management, hand management, memory. We've talked about silver. We've talked enough. about this enough. If you are new and want to hear our thoughts on silver, watch go and watch every any single one, one of our videos. videos. Next up, we have Wild Space from Catch Up Games. This was sent to us to review by Asmodee Canada. It is designed by Ilju de Joachim Thelen. This is a bilingual one. We got a bilingual copy because we're in Canada. Joachim Thong? I have no idea what this game is about. The cover art was adorable. Yeah, I thought the art was super cute. It has an octopus on the back and a bear on the front. If you've ever played Portal, the video game, it's got like the dude in Portal. It looks like the dude in Portal. On what the, is it? Oh, it's a robot. The evil robot dude in Portal. A droid, if you will. Yeah, no idea. Let's see. It's in French. Become the wealthiest explorer in the galaxy. Ooh, money in space. My favorite thing and Jeff's favorite thing. James' favorite thing is money. My favorite thing is space, yeah. just to clarify. Play a spaceship card on a planet. Performance action trigger abilities. Neat. We will be doing a review of this one at some point, so stay tuned for that, and then hopefully by then we'll know what it's about. Next up, we yeah, have from Ravensburger, designed by... Probably Prospero Hall. No idea. We're trying to be better at this, but they're not making it easy for us. This was a Jamie purchase. Yeah. And this is Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. Adventure game based on the Jungle Cruise ride in Disney World. Which we love. Jamie, I think at some point would like to get... Um, collecting all collect the, the Disney, Disney games. board games. Yep. And this was available at a friendly local gaming store in Jamie's hometown. Yeah, Lancelot Games. In the it's day. called Lancelot Games, and we picked this up from them, and I know nothing about it. Me either, but it's Jungle Cruise, and I love the Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise is a super fun ride at Disney, but yeah, I'm collecting all of the Disney games. They're coming out with a, it's actually Funko Games and not Ravensburger, but it's a small world game, which is Jeff's favorite ride at Disney. It is not. He loves it. If you've never been to Disney World or Disneyland, because I guess Small World is also in Disneyland. And so Jungle Cruise. And you haven't gone on Small World, don't do it. Do it. You will be traumatized the rest of your life. Dueling's Anywho, traumatized. He's afraid of dolls. That's Jungle Cruise. 100% purchase based on theme. Next. Up 
we have Cartographers, designed by Jordi Adden and published by Thunderworks Games. This is in the role player world. Role player is a game that we quite enjoy, and this is a roll and write with a little bit of an adventure twist. Am I right? Yes. yes. And this again, was a Jeff I've mentioned I'm eating my crow on co op games and roll and writes. Yeah, you are. Again, for new people early on in this channel, I mentioned that I don't like co-op games and that I don't like roll and rights. Lies. I now have to accept that I was wildly inaccurate on yeah. both of those statements. Wildly. My correct. favorite games right now are Love both co-ops and roll and rights. Yeah. So weird. Funny how funny that happens. <laughs> I couldn't even get the words get out of here. I go, funny, no, no, no. Get out of my head, bro. We haven't played this one yet. We played a round of it on Tabletop Simulator with Max and Danielle from Table Nuts, mm -hmm. but we haven't played that game yet. Looking forward to doing that. Love the shell of shame. It's just filling up. Yep. Next up from AEG and designed by Kevin Russ, we have Calico. So you might have noticed Jamie just tapped me and smiled. I always say AEG games. I understand why that is incorrect, but I can't not say it. And that time I said AEG and she was proud of me. Good job. And it's also from Flat Out Games. So it's and we got job. this at our friendly local gaming store, a uh, boardroom game cafe purchase. This was one that we were looking to get for a long time, obviously based off of theme and the cats and the cradle and the silver, silver spoon. Silver spoon for sure. So, Jamie picked this up. It took a little bit of time to come in. I think it's available now. We had to much. wait for the reprint. But basically. yeah, we were waiting for the reprint and we got it. Yeah, and, and you're building out a quilt yeah. that cats want to lay on. And apparently it's super thinky. It's an abstract game and I'm but very But I mean, excited. honestly, look at the cat on that it's and tell me how cute that is. I don't even care if I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Illust oh, Kevin Russ. Said that already. You did? I did. Did you say it was illustrated by Beth Sobel? I didn't include the illustrator. No. You should, because that cat's adorable. Yeah. Oh, we also got Cartographers from the Boardroom Game yeah, Cafe. Yes, sorry. Uh, yes. Cartographers was also purchased from the Boardroom Game Cafe. Next up, Codenames Duet. Jeff is not a fan of Codenames. Talk about a flash-in-the-pan purchase. Right? I was literally like, can we? And he's like, fine. So this is from CGE, and it is designed by Vlada... Oh, jeez. Chevaddle. Chevaddle and Scott Eaton. What's crazy to me is... The um, Vlada Chivadal guy also do, did Mage Knight. He do Mage Knight? He did Mage Knight. Talk about like two ends of the spectrum. Oh, yeah. Is that not crazy? That's crazy. Yeah, anyhow. Like, I, I always thought, I've always thought that was neat. This is a two-player co-op version of Codenames, which we have heard is the best way to play Codenames. Yep. Jeff has had bad experiences with Codenames playing with weenies. Yeah, again, I don't mind the game. Yeah, it just doesn't just, like I've dinguses. played with some real big dinguses. Yeah. Some real big ding guy. No ding guy allowed in the Yeah, Discord. and it ruined my experience. So Brothers Murph has talked about this a lot lately yeah, and saying actually, this is actually their preferred way to play it now. So I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to try it too. So this was a spur of the moment purchase. We were at Lancelot Games yep. in my hometown and we were like, heck yeah, if you are in the south shore of Nova Scotia and you happen to go through Mahome Bay, check out Lancelot Games. It yep. is a great little We could maybe store. link his address and stuff. We will for um, sure. Primarily Magic and Warhammer, but yep. has a ton and of games and a great collection to pick from. We walked in and Coming walked up. out with a lot less money. A lot more Magic cards. Kudos to you, Lance. Money. Next up from Stonemeyer and Bezier is Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. And this is designed by Ben Rossett and Matthew O'Malley. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, art by Agnes. I cannot pronounce that. This was sent to us by Stonemeyer for review. You will see that coming down the pipe soon. Mm -hmm. This is a semi co op. It's semi-co-op tile, tile placement, placement game where you're building out your castle with a partner to your left and the one on your right. And whichever castle that you get that scores the least amount of points, that's the castle that you score for your points. We are going to play, we've played it at four. We're going to play it with the two player, uh, is there an Automa? I believe so, yeah. Um, just to give it a go and then we will get our review posted up. We had a lot of fun with this. Um, yes. If we, you want to watch us play it, we played it during board game week. Yep. Yep. You can watch a sped, sped up version of us playing this. That's Between Two Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Thank you, Stonemeyer, for sending that to us. Thank you. This next one is very exciting. Another find from Lancelot Games that I just happened to be looking at the shelf and I was like, is that what I think it is? And it was. And that mm. is Micro Macro Crime City. 
this game has been really difficult to find and we were talking to Lance and he's like, oh yeah, I ordered a bunch of those when I found out that it won the Spiel de Jaris. So he had like three copies and you can't find this anywhere, so we snatched it up, and I'm really yeah. excited. This is also a co-op. Yeah, game. so this is from Pegasus Spiel. Right. And designed by Johan Sitch. Sitch. If I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. We did our best. I stumbled across this a couple months ago. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I was talking about, like, Where's Waldo and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then this came up, and I'm like, what? You're telling me there's, like, a Where's Waldo adult? board game signed me up and then we couldn't find a copy and we stumbled into lance's and store there. and it was there and we were like yep we'll buy that and lance actually included jamie took them off but we're he included box. some bonus, bonus cards. cards bonus investigations that we can do so super excited yeah. to play that i think this comes with 16 scenarios mm -hmm. so. and i think they're already talking about a um, expansion to this with yep. more more stuff coming out so yeah, i think it might not be crime city it might be something different. yeah i'm really really excited really to play excited. that speaking of big loves next up on the list we have a game designed by Corey kanitsa kanitska the initiative and this is by Unexpected Games, Unexpected Games and, Asmodee. and Asmodee. And this was sent to us by Asmodee Canada for review. Mm -hmm. So you will see this coming down the pipe for review. We played this on the weekend. You can go check that out again. No, sorry, no, you can't. Didn't record we didn't record it because we didn't want to spoil no it. But of the weekend, this was Jamie and I's favorite game. So we played 11 different games or 10 different 11. games. This was both of our favorites. It's a co-op deduction game where you're solving crimes exploring these little maps to uncover clues Puzzle. there's a comic book associated with it and then you are trying to uncover code words that unlock certain things and you're getting bonus cards it's really cool might be my favorite game i've played yet this year wow yeah seriously i had a lot of fun playing it interesting what or do you think would be higher than that sleeping gods destinies yes oh yeah Okay, sorry. It's probably not my favorite, but it's top five. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Loves it. This is a doubler. Because I got the expansion. All right, next up we have Winter Queen. And this is uh, a game designed by Yuri Zur Avlev. And I don't believe, I believe it's self-published. This was a Kickstarter. Oh, crowd. I, I don't know. Crowdy games or crowdy games? Crowd yeah, games. it's it's weird on the box. It has a crow, so crowdy games maybe. But anyways, if you are an OG subscriber, I talked about this game in our most anticipated games that we wanted to play or games we were most excited to play this year. This was on my list. It was on Kickstarter at the time. And Lance from Lance Lot Games, which is where we got this, he watched that video and he ordered... Lance is a loyal subscriber and yeah. we love him. And he ordered a bunch of the games that we talked about and this was one. I have not seen this in any other store and so I was really excited to get it. To be honest, I don't remember a ton of what it's about, but it's you're in this, this land where there's a winter queen and there's a bunch of like wizards who are trying to become her advisor. Jeff's smiling because the game comes with a bunch of gems and that's really why I'm I smiling it. because when you were reading it and looking into it last night after we bought it, you were like, this is frozen. Yeah, it's like frozen, the board game. Because look, yeah. is that not Elsa? Yeah, exactly. So anyway, that made me chuckle. So I got the base game and then he also had the expansion. So I got that as well. And I'm really excited to play this. We will do a review of this one because it is a brand new game that I don't think many people have heard much about. So yeah. I would like to do like an overview and review. Yeah. Hopefully we like it. But I think it's like kind of an abstract game that I'm pretty excited about. Yeah. There's not a lot of games we don't enjoy, at least to some degree. I'm just trying to think of one that I don't enjoy to prove Marvel you, Villainous to is prove the only wrong. one I think that I can think of that we did, really didn't have a good time with. The game was a bit of a turd. Next up. Now this was a secondhand purchase. I got this for an insanely great deal. And that is Vast, The Crystal Caverns by Leader Games and designed by, I'm assuming, Kyle Farron. Art by Kyle Farron, sorry, yeah. not, not designed, but David Somerville and Patrick Leader. I don't know a ton about this. Dragon. And I am concerned it's not gonna hit the table because I have a tough time getting these types of games to the table with Jamie and her brothers. They're Root, complicated. Root it being included, but I love Root. I recently got a chance to play Oath, and I loved Oath. And apparently Vast is like this undercurrent game that no one like really talks about, but is also super good. So I'd like to try it out. I'm going to um, try it out. So it's another asymmetrical board game, as you're probably familiar with all of other uh, leader games, other games. 
Fast provides a limitless adventure playable again and again as you and your friends explore the five exciting roles in many combinations. Play mm -hmm. solo. Well, I guess I could play it solo. Or with up to five players for the full game. Mm -hmm. Play as a knight, goblin, dragon, cave, or thief. Oh, I want to be the dragon or the thief. Each role has its own powers, so there comes in the asymmetry. Each role has its own powers, pieces, and paths to victory. There can only be one winner. So when I bought this, I posted it up on Twitter, and Sam from Lord of the Board and Monique from play. Before You Play mentioned how good, how much they enjoy this game. So I'm actually excited to get it to the table. I'm going to force them to play it. I want to play it. I know, but it. I want to be the dragon. We always do these things, and then people get frustrated because they are a lot yeah, to, but to handle. That's and life. I'm a terrible teacher. That's life. I'll but anywho, watch a video. I bought this second hand. I got it super cheap. It's in immaculate condition. It's so shiny. And that is vast leader games, crystal caverns. Huh. I'm gonna have to move my tea for this one. Jamie's last one. Get muscle. those muscles working. Oh, I almost fell. It's, it's in very... shrink still, so I don't know if there's a glare. There's a glare. Take it off. Our next purchase, once again from Lancelot Games, because we spent all of our money there when we went, is Merchant's Co. from Frontier Games. Wait, Final Front. Final Frontier, yeah. Final Frontier Games. And this is designed by, I almost said designed by, the Pearl of the Five Tribes. That's not right. Game by Carl Van Ostrand with Johnny Pack and Drake Villareal, art by the Miko. Ooh, he's like Madonna. Mm -hmm. This game we have heard a lot about. Once again, Sam from I would Lord say of the Board from Sam for sure, yeah. really likes this, and he does play this a lot with his wife, two player, mm -hmm. and they really enjoy it. So I don't know anything about this game. This is actually a dual purchase. So Zach. Jamie's brother has a copy of this as well. It's got really cool minis. I was just going to say, I it's, haven't even looked at I do this. believe it's a bit asymmetrical. The components are amazing. Like, there's little boats that you put, I, I think it's resources or something little into. People. And, no, these things. Oh. Like, yeah, this, this, everything about this game screams, like, I want to play you. I love the art in it. The minis look really cool. I want to play this. Yeah. It looks really neat. We're not going to get to that anytime soon. Yeah. Sleeping Gods. Yeah. All the reviews. Is this we, campaigns? No, but like all, we have so many games that we need to review. This is not suitable for young children. FYI. Anyways, that's Merchant's Cove. Merchant's Cove. Pretty excited about it, even though I don't know anything about it. I'm pretty it. pumped for that one. 60 Super to 90 pumped. minutes. That's doable. Yeah, I'm real pumped for that. I feel like this is a lot of setup though. All right, last up we have... One of the probably most beautiful games I've seen. Oh, it's very beautiful. Not as beautiful as Horrifying. And that is. is Die of the Dead from... Oh, Radical 8 Games. Radical 8 Games. This was sent to us for review. Uh, James Allen, Mark Stockton Pitt. Yeah. Here's what I know about it, which is not much. Number one, it comes with little coffins. And that's pretty neat. You have to like build these steps and then it's, I think there's dice manipulation and stuff. We okay. obviously haven't played this yet, but we will be playing this and reviewing it. The art is stunning. It, yep. it reminds me of Coco. The Disney it does movie. remind me a lot of Coco. So there is a dice ton game. of dice in this game. 75 dice. What? 75? Yeah, look. I know Doolin from Table Nuts and his wife, Emily, have played this and they said that they really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to play it. Don't know much about it, but we'll yeah. learn it and we'll do a video. So uh, they Hopefully sent us, soon. thank you Radical 8 for sending this to us. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really uh, excited for this. It looks really cool. The coffins are really beautiful. Yeah. The dice are, it's super colorful, as you can tell. Yeah, and I'm really Thanks. interested in the theme. Like, I loved the Coco movie. Yeah, it's all about like the Day of the Dead. Yeah. Oh, you don't know Spanish. Dia de Muertos. Dia de Muertos. <laughs> And those are all the games that we acquired since our last haul. When oh. we sat down to do, before we sat down to do this, I'm like, okay, like I've had a pretty heavy editing week. I had to edit mm -hmm. Sleeping Gods and Board mm -hmm. Game Weekend. I was like, we could just do a quick haul. That'll be fun. Yeah, we have like, like we edit. haven't gotten that many games. Like, oh, you know, we we bought a couple yesterday, and then we had we're like, oh, plus calico and cartographers. That'll yeah. be easy. And then I started piling everything on the table, and I was like, what there's have a we solid done? chance we've forgotten something too. I don't think, but maybe. Any who's Anyways, else. so those are all of the games that we've acquired. Yeah, if you've played any, let or, us know. Uh, you know, have thoughts, let us know. Or if you're excited for a specific review, let us know. We need to be better at playing our Shelf of Shame games. So obviously most of these have been now added to our Shelf of Shame. We're going to try and not, we're going to try to not buy anymore. 
We're gonna we're, <laughs> we need to plan more like two player. Like Jamie and I sit down and play a bunch of games. It's just it's tough in the summer. Got stuff We've, going on. We always it's got so stuff going popular. on. And, I mean, it's actually not even really that true. We don't it's just tough. Out. Like it's just when Jamie's editing and stuff. And yeah, before we end the video, one thing that I did want to ask for you guys to do, we would like to do a Q and A video. Yes, we've already put that out to our Patreons, so they've already sent in a bunch of questions. <laughs> They've already sent in a bunch of questions and we want to throw it out to all of you as well. If you have any questions that you are curious to ask us, either mm -hmm. both of us or just Jeff or just me, please throw those down in the comments of this video and we will keep track of everything and we'll try to answer as many as we can during our Q&A. Yeah, and to any like Patreon members, your questions will get answered. Yeah, guarantee unless they're too weird, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we should answer that one. We're going to, yeah. We have a Patreon named Kyle who asked a really weird question, but we're going to answer it because he's funny and he's we appreciate his humor. Everybody just ask questions yep. down below because we would love to do we'll that. We'll get to as many of those as we can. Yeah, absolutely, we will. Since we just talked about something in our Discord, it's probably a good time to mention our Discord. If you are so interested and want to join in our Discord and talk to us and all of our very cool new friends, please do so. The yep. link for that will be down below. Our Discord is like my one of my favorite places to be right now it we might talked be about like thing. everything at this point but the yeah. sky's the limit yeah i'm not gonna sentimental so i'm not even gonna bother get into it but yeah i just really appreciate those types of dialogue we also just mentioned that we do have a patreon all that information will be linked down below as well if you'd like to support us it's not necessary but if you'd like to it's down there let's talk about where you can find some of these sweet games we've mm -hmm. already mentioned where we bought yeah. pretty much all of them with the exception of the ones we got for review and that would be at our friendly local gaming stores for yeah. us here in Halifax that is the boardroom game cafe which we are very excitedly going to tomorrow Sunday oh, yeah. so if you see this video this Saturday we're, we'll literally be there tomorrow at one o'clock playing games so if you happen yeah. to be there too please Pumped. come and say hi we're very excited I'm so excited for that grilled cheese boy we also mentioned Lancelot games and that is in Mahome Bay like we said he does yep. a lot of magic Warhammer he's got painting stuff he does events yep. upstairs, like all this He's stuff. He's got so, an awesome little shop. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to us here at Foster the Meeple. Give this video a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And you can also follow us on social media. We are at Foster the Meeple on Instagram and Twitter. Our outros are getting too long. Yep. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Later days. Goodbye. Later days. We lifted up at the same time. That? Literally, like as soon as we sit down. Hey, he rocked it. Prince. Yeah, he's in like a zoomy mood. Sometimes our cat gets like zoomies and he'll just like run around with his butt in the air. Yeah, but like, you can forget just, like, he could even go that fast because he's such a little chonk. Yeah, Patrick Somerville. David, Patrick Leader. David Somerville and Patrick Leader. Put that over there. Oh my god, Jack. Why would that? Is it? I don't know. I think it is. I'll cut that um, out. Yeah, cut that out. We would like to do. <laughs> it's like we've we've branched off from board games real quick. Like oh. people are talking about situations fun. in their lives and like health and video games and music and whatever. It's freaking sweet. A lot of the situations in their lives, health, video games. Well, I mean, how <laughs> video games are important. Yes.